when shit happens, you're on your own. So yesterday I got robbed in uh, Brussels. A few meters after I left the hotel where I was staying for two nights. <sighs> you know those things that happen to other people or you read about them and then you never think they would happen to you or they could happen to you. Well, that's what happened to me. So I just left the hotel, checked out, and everything was hunky-dory, smiling okay. And then I saw somebody approaching just as I was leaving. So I headed in front of him. And he looked homeless, of course. He was pushing a heavy, big thing. And I checked my ticket quickly. And then it started to rain. So because it was raining, I put my phone in my pocket to put the hoodie on. I didn't notice that that happened. So I continued walking. I walked past uh, some um, traffic lights, waited to cross over. I crossed. And just as I was approaching the train station, I thought, let me check that uh, ticket in case they've changed platforms or whatever. I reached out for my phone. It's not there. So in my mind, I'm thinking I left it at the hotel because I had just recorded a video just before I left. Right. And... The first instinct that came is I left it at the hotel, maybe in the room or maybe at the desk where I was checking out because they have this little platform and I, I had my bag on there. So I'm thinking maybe I left it there. So I walked back. It was like five minutes walk from the train station. I walked back and I arrived back and I said, I think I left my phone upstairs in the, in the room where I was staying. And the receptionist, very nice lady, gave me the card and said, oh, which room, which room number? And I told her, and she activated it again and gave me the card, and I went upstairs. When I arrived upstairs, I found the cleaner cleaning, and I said, my phone was just here on the table because I was sitting here recording her phone. She said, no, I do not have your phone, and I don't want you um, touching anything because I've just cleaned and uh, she took out her phone and showed it to me. But in that, my, in that moment, my brain has already blanked out. I'm thinking, oh, my God, I've just lost my phone. Let me take you back to before I even checked out. So that morning when I was sitting in the restaurant having my breakfast, I was chatting with my husband. And I sent him a series of messages on how unsafe Belgium has become. Brussels is not what we used to know it to be. As a woman, I will urge you to be vigilant. Look where you, it is that you're booking. Check the location where it is you're there and read the reviews. There are some hotels that are positioned in places that are so rampant with thieves and pickpocketers. And the hotels are not warning their customers when they arrive. So I was chatting on the phone with my husband in the morning and I said, I feel so unsafe here. I watched so many people being robbed the day before, which was on Sunday, because I had gone to Antwerp. I went to Antwerp for a day out. Everything is closed in Belgium, in Brussels where I was. So I thought I'll go to Antwerp. And I went, I checked on booking.com and there was a few uh, recommendations, but I thought, nah, let me just go and see what is there. So outside the train station is a chocolate museum. So I thought, okay, yeah, 19 euros. It's like an hour and a half, two hours. And then you probably spend some other few minutes in the shop anyway. And I wanted to come back with gifts. So I thought, okay, I'll treat myself to that. So I walked, I crossed over. But every time I was crossing these streets, it was trains clingling at people to get out of the way. It was cars breaking and beeping for people to move out. Belgium has lost its direction. People are walking. There's, there's just no direction. I, that's one thing I love about Dutch people. In Holland, you know where you're heading to, the road where you're heading to, you walk on your right so that the person on the left can pass you or can walk. But in Belgium, they were walking. I mean, I, I recorded it. it. It was just pathetic. They were walking all over the place. So I was chatting with my husband saying, I feel so unsafe because I watched people being robbed yesterday in Antwerp. And it was just normal pickpocketing where a phone is taken or somebody's bag is taken. And, and then you see a lot of the Belgian people themselves just shrugging their shoulders like, yeah, police don't do anything. And I had that in my mind. 
and it worried me a bit. So I started putting my bag inside my coat, inside my own body first and then caught over to keep everything. So I went to the museum, it was nice and everything else and I came back. Yesterday now, checking out and I saw this guy and I didn't, you know sometimes your sixth sense normally check in where well, they didn't. So clearly it was the phone for him to grab. They didn't check in. My sixth sense I normally saw a walk. And I'm normally aware, I want to know who's walking behind me, in front of me, on the sides, who's standing, what are they looking like? And yesterday, I don't know, I was, I, I really wanted to get that train to come home. And I just went for it, but it was raining. Literally, I mean it. Of me, because I had my bag and a suitcase. So I left the suitcase down, put my phone in, put the hoodie, and grabbed my suitcase. And that's all it took. And the phone was gone. So when I went back and I went downstairs, causing drama now because I'm like I'm sure the phone was here and it's gone and it can't just get lost because I just checked out like five seven minutes ago and I was checking my ticket so the lady there was a black lady at the reception she said come madam we're gonna check the CCTV camera maybe we'll pick something I don't know and she turned on the camera oh my god you literally saw this man approaching me until you couldn't see him anymore until the moment that the phone was gone so be vigilant. Be vigilant where it is that you're booking, especially when you're doing your lady-only solo travel and you're a woman in Belgium. It's not safe. All the stories you hear about Berlin, Belgium is picking up on it also. It is just as chaotic and hazardous. It's not safe for a woman to be there alone. And if you are, make sure you have a court that is anti-theft where you can actually put the stuff in. Because when somebody tries to harm you physically, then that becomes a police case automatically. So another mistake was that the hotel said to me, the police wouldn't do anything, so go home, and then when you arrive, report it in your country. And that's not true. Because my phone is insured. It's an expensive phone, and I do not buy anything for that price and not insure it. So it's insured. So the insurance does say to report to the police, but it doesn't specify where. And that is fine. So I came back. I mean, it's only two hours away. So I came back and the first plot that I, first place that I landed was Breda. But when we got into Rotterdam in the same train, the doors shut, suddenly shut down and we were not allowed to press. There was an announcement saying, we have an intervention, ladies and gentlemen, please do not try and get out. We are just gonna be doing an intervention and then we apologize for the inconvenience. So the train stopped and we all just sat and waited. Those who were standing were standing waiting. Up and behold, 25 minutes later, police now are walking from one cabin to the other, checking through the windows, and then there was an announcement there was two thieves that were caught from Brussels in the same train that I was on. And they arrested them in Rotterdam. So while this was happening, my, I was just so angry. I was so pissed. And I asked the police, I said, right, well, what do I do? Because I just got robbed in, in, in uh, Brussels. And they said, you need to go to the police station and report while you're here now. So he said to me, go downstairs and see if you can get the stuff that will direct you. So I went downstairs. I think in his mind, he thought I live in Rotterdam. I think that's what the mistake was. So I went downstairs. I spoke to this guy and this, this guy directed me. He said, now go and get the tram, metro. Go and get a metro, direction Schlinger, get off, go to the community house. There's a police station. They're gone report. So I went. Got there, big queue. Everybody has a case. I arrived, but again, the police turned me down. Her excuse was, you should report in your, where do you live? I said, light and right. So you should report in your own, in your own region where you live. And that's because I can't take a case anymore right now because we have so many. And I, in my head, I'm thinking, and what about my case? Now, you're the police, but you're telling me you have a lot of cases. What about my case? So I said, okay, fine. I left. I left. I was mad. Took the train again, another wasted journey actually, because I could have just, all that time I could have just re reached home because I'm trying to reach home to block everything. The bank my husband tried to call, they would not um, deal with it because he's not me. So I'm trying to get home as soon as possible so I can block everything. Um, so I got the train again, heading to Leiden. 
okay, broken train in the middle of the way. I'm like, today is showing me things. It's showing me things. I thought, okay, I will hold on. I am mega paved. I arrived in Leiden. Immediately arrived, God sent some angels. The bus is waiting, leaving in two minutes. I rush for it again. I catch it. Raining cats and dogs. I get on the bus, I arrive home. When I arrived home, I got onto my tablet and immediately marked my phone as lost on Apple. So already it cancels everything. All my payment apps get blocked immediately, which is something I love about Apple. And then I start calling. My husband calls the police to ask, what can we do? And they're saying, yeah, we're going to send you some information. And then somebody will call you to take uh, the report, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's done. I call KPN to cancel the SIM card. So get it blocked. And, and it is a lot of things. So I'm going to do another video about that. But the, my, the, today's video is Brussels is not safe for the solo traveler. And if you must go by yourself because you don't want these people to take advantage and really stop you from having the fun that you want to have, make sure you have a bag that is so discreet that even if you sleep whatever in, it would not be detected. And if they ever try and grab it, you grab their hands and go with them on the floor. But it's not safe. And I am just appalled. The amount of paperwork, the amount of work that you have to do to prove you were robbed even, is just diabolic. So I'll leave this here because I have a lot to talk about this trip actually. So I'm going to do that in the next video. Take care. Thank you. Bye.